Okay, here's the prober. Uh, it says Wentworth on the back. So it came from Wentworth, um, oh, which is still in business, I think. Uh, yeah, and you were asking about the controls. So this is the up and down control. You can see it going, going up there. And then going down, it doesn't work as, as as it should because it's a bit stiff. So you push down on it, it goes back down again. And then you can put it back up again. So the most important bit is going going up anyway. Um, and I think with a bit of oil, it will probably naturally go down. So there you go. And then it should come down, but doesn't. So you just push it down like that. Um, the other Z function, this is micrometer here, which works perfectly going up. But when you go down, the same thing happens. So you have to push it down to get it back down to the same place. This bit moves round uh, for the optics, which I've got, which come with it. Um, and then the optics will go up and down like that. And that works perfectly well. That can be tightened up if necessary. And the backwards and forwards, for the optics works perfectly well as well like that and then you've got these connectors but I don't think you'd use those um, and I imagine like something like this would be used um, this isn't coming with a cell this is a, a Carl Zuss probe um, with X Y and Z um, you can move it around on the magnetic, it's quite convenient. Put them in the place you want and then adjust left, right. Uh, so that's that. And then underneath is the wafer holder. So on the left side seems fine, but on the right side there's this part which I presume went in there and then you slot the wafer in. But um, I haven't got all the bolts for that. Um, but I think it might be able to be fixed. You might need a bolt and, and, a, and a spring. Uh, so that's it. Any questions, let me know.